So here Chloe is preparing sulfur dioxide using sulfur heated in the presence of oxygen to create sulfur dioxide which is then added to the gas jars with various materials contained in those gas jars. So we've got some newspaper, barium chloride and nitric acid, some zinc, tin foil, printed materials, some leaves, potassium dichromite solution, and some marble chips. Barium chloride didn't show a major effect, it's still clear. Barium chloride and nitric acid, there seems to be a bit of precipitation, There's, it's uh, cloudy. Potassium dichromite, no colour change. Marble chips, very little change. Magnesium strips seem to become a little oxidised. Nickel, the sulfuric acid and sulphur dioxide seem to have discoloured the nickel. Zinc also has some precipitate and discoloration. The newspaper, very little change. After 24 hours, exposed to sulfuric acid and sulfur dioxide. Aluminium foil, very little change except where it's in contact with the sulfuric acid that has condensed on the inside of the gas jar. The leaves seem to have made the biggest change um, with the change from green to yellow and brown. And the printed matter, no change. And we tested the distilled water which showed it had become slightly acidic, dropping from 7 to 6 on the pH scale.